Hi, and welcome to the Imaginal Podcast. This is a place that protects and explores what we need to actualize our uniqueness. And like the caterpillar, who carries its butterfly blueprint in its imaginal cells all the way to the chrysalis and then melts into liquid before it transforms. We too have an inner knowing that can tell us how to make our wings. And here's your host, life coach and consultant, Lori Sauce, who goes most commonly by her nickname, Sauce. Hello, it's Sauce. Welcome to the podcast. So glad to be with you always, always. And we're continuing our series on being coached from afar. And although it might not be quite the same as if we were sitting face to face and I could hear you, which is what I actually really long for, I hope that some of the things that I might offer might be helpful. It is my deep heart's desire to see all of our lives actualized in the truest, most immense ways and that each of you will be able to break free from whatever it is that's hanging on, those sticky stories that got globbed on. (laughs) That's a coaching term, globbed on. (laughs) But it was never meant for you to carry. And so that's what we're looking at. If you missed any of these episodes from the series, it started in episode 124. And while I think you could probably listen to them on their own, it might be even more beneficial to start from the beginning. But today we're continuing from last week's episode. And last week we took the first step or we talked about taking the step that was difficult. And sometimes that might be the first step and sometimes it might just be where you find yourself stuck. The step that is harder to take. And maybe in this past week, you took that step. And what I would like to know is what happened. Today, we're talking about the power of your yes, while also the devotion to it. So the first thing I want you to think about is how powerful it is to say yes to taking that step. Because for so long, we just think that we want to, or we hope that we will someday or we think that we can't. And it can be as easy as deciding, I actually am worthy of taking this step. This doesn't have to be off limits to me anymore. This world is vast and big and exciting. And there's an imaginal component that we can bring to it that we don't have to be stuck or relegated or on the outside of that thing that won't let you go that calls to you. And so, Saying yes to that has so much power. It has the ability to change the trajectory of your life path and how you experience life. And I can tell you that the day I said yes to music was the day the quality of my life changed. And it's not that my life was terrible. No, it was quite amazing in so many ways. But I was forsaking the thing that I love the most. And now, while it's a work in progress, aren't we always a work in progress? I think even people who are quite accomplished in something will say that they're a work in progress. But while I have not quite yet gotten to the arc of my first goal, I can tell you that I have loved every day of it. It's not always been easy, but I feel more like myself than I ever have. And I'm traveling in circles that I feel most alive in. And I've met the most amazing people. One of them being Lauren, as I mentioned last week, who is completely the reason why I was able to take that first step in the beginning. And then also the people that I have met in the process of learning music I will never be able to find the words to say how enriching and how beautiful and how lucky I feel. So when you are in your passion, when you are in your art, when you're using your voice, when you're contributing into this space, when you're meeting people in this field, I can't quite find the words to say what a gift that is. And that makes me so excited to imagine you doing that. So the yes is not only powerful, it's really important. So if you're stuck 
if you're, if you're hesitant to say yes, what I want to do this week is check in. Did you say yes? Did you step forward? Or are you about to say yes and you haven't quite yet? And what is it for you that will make the difference? Because once you move into that territory, oh my goodness, let's see what happens. What could happen or what is happening? That's my question for this week. Did you say yes? If you did, what happened? And what was the quality of that experience? And for me, if I go into singing, I will say I said yes because Lauren was there to say yes to her thing too. And by the way, she crushed it. She, oh gosh, I wonder if one day we'll tell you together, but I was so inspired to watch her say yes and move into this territory. And she, she blew me away with the things that happened along her path. For me, my yes was so empowering, but also I was so nervous. And that's what I want to share with you this week. I said yes to a singing lesson, and I did all the research, as we were talked about a couple of episodes ago, and I found the most amazing singing teacher. And she welcomed me into her studio with such warmth and such encouragement. And it was such a different experience than what I remember as a young girl. And it changed everything. It's incredible what happens when you change the story and you change the people who are in your story. I think the hardest part for me was actually going to that lesson. It really wasn't once I got to the lesson so much as it was getting there. You know, sometimes if you're on a workout plan, the hardest part is getting to the gym if you're a gym goer. But once you're there, it's so much easier. Well, that was sort of similar to what I found, but this was maybe my hardest yes, my scariest yes. And my young girl, whoa, she was putting up some fear and I get why. And she, I think one of the most important things was for me to hear her and see her and comfort her and welcome her and listen to her because she also held so much love for singing. That's the only reason probably that she was so protective over it. And anxiety showed up too. Oh my gosh. I don't mean to laugh. Anxiety, um, having been someone who suffered from like the mental illness part of anxiety and also who can feel the effects of anxiety at different times. I, I take that so seriously and honor it so much. I'm only laughing as I look back as to how nervous I was as I got into my car or even as I was getting ready. But there was something so bolstering, so stabilizing and so important and vital about my camaraderie and my friendship with Lauren because I texted her. <laughs> I was telling her when I was about to leave and I was so shaky. I was like sweating. <laughs> I was so shaky. But having her steady and her knowing that I was going made all the difference. And I felt so much stronger. And I felt like I was counteracting some of the senseless things that were spoken to me a long time ago. Like, you know, I couldn't sing on pitch back then, but it didn't have to go to shame. We can move through things that we can't do. We can, we can improve. We can find ways to learn. It doesn't have to go to shame, but it did. And shame had such a hold on me. But the steadiness and the belief of Lauren helped me move through that. Shame, as Brene Brown says, cannot exist in the light. But alone, shame can be very gripping and overpowering. But once I brought it to the light, we met that with compassion. We met that with other stories, and I am forever grateful to Lauren for that threshold. So the yes is so meaningful. But what I want to say this week is the yes is so powerful to change the trajectory of everything. And I will tell you, my life is so much richer with music. It's un believable. It's immeasurable what a change it has made. It's unfathomable what that yes that day has led me into. 
but I almost said no. It would have been so much easier for the young girl to say no, but the evolved adult who knew more, who, who could bring the young child some comfort and some safety and some shelter, the adult knew that that would change everything. I didn't know how it would go, but I knew that I could no longer go without music. And now what we're going to continue to do is be devoted to that yes and start to deepen our relationships with our young parts, start to push out the predatorial attacking comments, the criticism that still might come through, you know? It's the devotion to this place that makes the difference. The yes is so powerful, but the devotion to the yes is a beautiful process. And that's now where we're going to head. So whether or not you said yes and stepped into it already, or you were hesitant to say yes, but you're about to, this week, I want you to listen to yourself the wisdom of yourself, the insights. What was the quality of that experience of saying yes, of following through and deeply listen to what voices came through too? What did your young self say? What did your child self say? What did your teen self say? What other voices were coming through? Did you have any attacking voices? Did you have any loops of criticism? That's what we're going to look at next the devotion of that, because as we continue to take steps into this territory, and as we continue to find freedom, it will be so vital for us to be devoted to the yes that was so powerful. So that is where I'm going to leave it this week. So if you would like to connect with me, I'm on Instagram at Lori Sase, L-O-R-I-S-A-S-E, or my website, laurisase.com. Okay, I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you so much. I hope you have a beautiful week. And yeah, I'm sending you all my support and endless belief and so much love.